World. My name is Nicholas Montez, and you're watching my YouTube channel, Nicholas Montez. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, everybody. I'm so excited to have y'all back here together again. And today's video, we're going to be starting a series, Journey to Home Sweet Home Alone, which we actually got a trailer for a couple weeks, or actually a couple days ago, which I sort of liked it. It definitely looks fun. I honestly thought they, they were make going to make, like, a Home Alone movie that was gonna that was gonna like continue the story of Kevin and like it was gonna be sort of a little bit of an action movie, but no, this is definitely sort of the original thing, but with a new kid. Um, and and today I'm reviewing Home Alone three, but before we do that, I think it's very important that we review the first two Home Alone movies, just because they are absolute classics. So let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so for me, obviously, if you're someone like me that watches Home Alone all the time, you know me. Home Alone is just a classic Christmas movie. It's absolutely just one of the best Christmas movies of all time. The soundtrack is great. The story of this kid being home alone and doing all this stuff, it's just hilarious. Every line is so memorable. And the third act, when the bad guys get hurt, when the, when the burglars get hurt it's absolutely fantastic so this is just one of the best christmas movies and of course the score is also um fantastic so it has everything i want and it's also just a movie that i always watch every every night of thanksgiving uh like because thanks once thanksgiving over once everybody leaves christmas the christmas season starts so in my household at least so yeah that's a good thing for me <laughs> Okay, now we come to Home Alone 2, and I, I, once again, Home Alone 2 is just another great Christmas movie. Now, is it better than the original film? I wouldn't say that, but it definitely is, like, it's, it's like, Home Alone 1 is, like, up here, and then Home Alone 2 is, like, right here. Like, I, I love both of those movies, but Home Alone 2, it kind of takes a little bit, it kind of takes the idea of the first Home Alone and kind of makes it in New York and does something new with the, with the story and the characters. And I think it does something kind of clever with that. Um, but I don't think it does anything in I, I, I think it, I feel like it just does the same plot line, except they put it in New York, which I thought was a cool plot line, but you, I feel like you could have done something a little bit better, but still, this is still another cl classic um, Christmas movie. Uh, I love the stuff that they did with it. The stuff that Kevin ate in the room was absolutely, looks really delicious. Even though I don't even know what it is, probably ice cream or something, I don't know. Um, there are a lot of funny scenes. This, I would say that this is the movie that has the better um, burglars being beat up sequence. Especially that scene where Harry, where um, Marv gets hit by a brick and he's like, Harry! And he looks around and stuff and he's like, they're just so funny. And as Marvin Harry, so another successful Christmas movie. All right, now that I've covered these two sequels, now let's get into the real deal, Home Alone 3. Okay, so now Home Alone 3. A lot of people, my family personally is like we love the first two Home Alone movies just because we don't I don't like the new stuff that they're doing with the with the changes of the cast. 
Um, but honestly, it didn't really make sense of how this movie was gonna be the third movie of, of Home Alone. Just because when you think of Home Alone, you think of Kevin McAllister, you think of uh, Marvin Harry, you think of them. When you think of Home Alone 3 with a new kid, it ruins the world. Actually, let's talk about the good first. So the first thing I liked about the movie was it felt like a 90s, it felt like another classic 90s Christmas movie. Now, is it one that I would probably, I would put on watching every year? Not like Home Alone 1 and 2, but it does have that classicness of a cr classic Christmas movie that I, of course, like. Um, another thing that I really enjoyed about the movie was some of the burglars being get, getting hurt like they did in the original, in the first two, uh, and I thought that was pretty good. And then it also has some pretty cool um, actors in it, like, they, you actually have young Scarlett Johansson in the movie, which, honestly, seems surprising to me, which, granted, she's not the, she doesn't play a, a big role in the movie, but for what her role is, it's pretty good. And I actually do like her as the little, as the big sister. Um, and I want to see her in more stuff other than just Home Alone 3. Um, and so yeah, that's really all I got to say about the good. Now let's kind of move on to the bad. Now unfortunately, there's a lot of bad to talk about, so let's just get started. First thing is, it just does not make sense to make a third Home Alone movie when it's a different kid. If we're gonna, because like, you can't just establish a whole new world with these new with new characters when you already have a world. And I just don't understand why they decided to make a movie with, different, with a whole new world of characters and they don't even mention anything about the first two Home Alone movies. Like, I mean, I, I, honestly, I do know that the Home Alone, um, Home Sweet Home Alone is gonna be taking place in the Home Alone universe because we, I saw, cause as we see uh, Buzz, you know, Kevin's, Kevin's brother, uh, he's an officer in that movie. So I guess that this world takes place in the universe. But even then, I just don't think that, I still don't think that it's a good job to take with the unit, with the franchise. But even talking about the movie, the movie is just kind of bad on all levels. The story is just kind of weird. They don't treat it like a fun movie. They treat it more like a kid, they treat it more like child's play where the kid is trying to, where the kid is trying to um, tell the parents the truth and they're not believing him. And the, this kid has chicken pox. Um, some, some, the kid just kind of honestly just has this annoying voice. It doesn't really focus on the Christmas season all that much. And most people, it just feels like people are just working. And it, it just, it, the mix of everything just feels so off putting to me. And I just never really like this movie. So that's really my thoughts on Home Alone 3. So. I just never really liked this movie. I'm not watching. I don't think I'll ever watch this again. But there you have it. That's my thoughts. Um, before I give my final score, please sure to comment down below. What are your thoughts on Home Alone 3? Did you guys love it? Did you guys hate it? Rural Rise in Between? Let me know all your thoughts down below in the comment section. With that said, let's get on with my scores. Alright, so that's it for my scores, but we're not done here yet. We have one more thing to do before we end this video, and that's to see where does Home Alone 3 rank in my Home Alone ranking for all Home Alone movies up to Home Alone 3. So with that said, let's get started and see where it ranks. That's it for my ranking, updated ranking of all Home Alone movies, my review, and scores. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My Instagram is Marvel6. My TikTok name is Marvel1Fan. If you guys don't understand those names, head to my back section to see me on all social medias. I'm also in Letterboxd. 
It's the same name as Instagram. I'm underscore six underscore. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.